this was a six and a half year old thoroughbred mare. Um, after a turnout in the indoor arena, she became almost no way bearing lame on the right hind. The owner suspected to be an abscess with the horse in the stall, did not improve. The scenario was quite similar to the case before. So um, a few days later, the veterinarian went to the farm, took radiographs and diagnosed a P3 fracture with the radiograph. So the case was referred to us for further evaluation and uh, advanced imaging. When we CT the horse, we confirmed the presence of that fracture, which was an articular fracture, a baxial articular fracture. We classified as a type two distal phalanx fracture, but we also found a uh, relatively large cyst-like lesion on the coffin bone. Um, we discussed, this is a 3D reconstruction of the fracture bone, which shows quite nicely the fracture line. We discussed with the client um, treatment options, including conservative options and surgical options, and the decision was made to treat the horse conservatively. So this horse was uh, treated with a bar shoe that was cast to the foot. And he returned 10 weeks later for our, with appointment with our farriers and also we re-CT the horse. And this is the image from the recheck which showed a quite good amount of bony healing on the, the fracture side. We discussed with the client the fact that it was difficult to determine what lesion was uh, or, or how much each lesion was contributing to the lameness, but with the history of an acu acute lameness a week prior to presentation uh, was most likely uh, to be, um, at least the majority of the pain most likely to be caused by the fracture. 